Hey guys, roll out here with Lego Transformers Trowel. Every year at Bricks Cascade, there would always be some people accidentally registering their mocks under architecture because it's first on the list alphabetically. So last year they came up with the Aardvark theme to help catch some of those lazy registrations, and some of us took this as an opportunity to build theme-appropriate mocks. So that's why I built an Aardvark Transformer. I named him Trowl because he's a small, adorable, diggy boy. I wanted to make a primarily brown transformer, but because of the palette limitations of toe ball connections, I was forced to incorporate some dark gray, but I think that the ratios are all right. Unfortunately, you can kind of see his robot mode head through his shoulder here, but it isn't too bad. For articulation, the head can move up and down. Incidentally, he's got a ball joint in the tail, and his legs can move forward and back. He really do be zooming, though. For comparison, here he is with a photographer. Here he is with Breakthrough. And here he is with auxiliary. To transform him, you basically flip the entire thing inside out. It's actually pretty simple, but there are some neat twists to it. So first you're going to rotate the tail and fold in the claws. Next, open up the sides of the body and flip around this entire back assembly. Next, we're going to fold up the ears and rotate the head before flipping around this entire assembly and bringing it down. The head and the tail will combine together to form the chest of the robot. Next, we're going to rotate the waist around and bring down the legs. Finally, we'll swing around the shoulders, bring down the arms, and bring up the shoulder pads. And there you have Trowel in robot mode. He has kind of a traditional Beast Wars style conversion, where the legs of the animal become his robot mode legs, the head becomes his chest, and he wears the claws of the animal as armor. He has kind of a surprisingly tall and thin robot mode, with tight shoulders and almost goat-like satyr legs. All of the dark gray sucks up into his torso as body armor. I also really like how the sides of the body kind of form a collar around his head. For articulation, his neck can rotate. The arms can kind of move in and out because they're on a ball joint back here. The elbows can bend. He has a waist rotation. The legs move forward and back, bend at the knee, and have some ankle movement. He's a little bit stiff, but he's still pretty poseable. Finally, we'll do some more size comparisons. Here he is with a minifigure. Here he is with Breakthrough. And here he is with Auxiliary. I think stylistically, these two look really good together. Until next time, this has been Rollout, signing off.